morning everyone it's Rachel here and we are going to do Roxy's weekly challenge so what I thought we'd do today is make some little Christmas tags but I yes we make tags all the time I know that but what I mean is like um, Christmas tags for Christmas presents I'm probably asking what's the difference well there is no difference but these are I'm making specifically for Christmas presents and not for journals and I'm just gluing two pieces of glue paper together because they're going to be my base. And then I'm going to glue an old piece of book page over the top. So I'm going to make sure I get glue everywhere. I hope everyone is well. Um, pretty cold here. Like, it's, you know, one, zero, one in the morning. And I think it gets up to maybe six, between five and seven during the day, if, if that. So I'm going to put that on top. It's going to be my base. Um, as you know, I don't really... I do have some cardstock, but I don't use it. I should use it. Um, I actually... Do you know what I find? I don't like the way the digital kits print on the on the cardstock that I can buy here. It's, it's kind of... Um, it's a little bit shiny. And um, it, it just... The, they don't just don't seem to print as nicely as they do on the regular copy paper. Isn't that weird? I thought they'd be better on the cardstock, but I don't actually like the kind of, they're not washed out, but they're not as crisp as on the copy paper that I use. And I use HP copy, copy paper. Costs a tiny bit more, you know, maybe a euro more, or euro 50 more a ream, which is like 500 sheets. But I find that it does print very well. Um, yeah, so I prefer to use, I probably should have done them around, there. it doesn't matter really because I can fit another one there. I can only fit two, two on a page. So we'll prepare a couple and then um, we can crack on with the project. Right. Put that one on there. I don't think I really want to go narrow, narrower, but actually I will glue another page on there because I can use that for something else. I can go on my to be completed box. Now what I might do here is glue this one. I want to make sure I get glue. You, couldn't, you can stitch around. I actually haven't pulled out my sewing machine since I've been here. I should do that. But my whole, I, I will not be sewing on, on camera because my whole, I mean, I'm, you're shaking now as it is. My whole, I mean, you would really be seasick by the end of the video if I put the sewing machine on the table. Okay, so let's, okay, let's they're all attached. As you know, nobody ever read this book. It was obviously some sort of textbook. Oops. Okay, I'll stick that back on in a minute. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be totally covered up anyway, but I will stick that back down because otherwise it'll be sticky there. Okay. So there's another base for us and I'm just going to put, well, maybe I'll put that one here and put something else there. You probably wonder what on earth is she, the woman doing? She's gone totally bonkers. Right. Okay, we'll glue this one on. So that'll be four. Now I did go and print up. So you need, I'll tell you what you need. You need book pages, nice old book pages. You need base book pages if you're not using cardstock uh, for your base. And um, I better get that. Get it, I'll just grab a wet one. Where did I put Oh, here they are. Um, so you need your base to make your, you know, to substitute cardstock. So we're not purchasing cardstock. Um, and then nice old book page to glue down. And I want to glue down something on that bit. I might even glue. No, maybe 
maybe not that. I've got some of my old stuff out here. Um, and then you'll need, we're going, I'll show you what we're going to use in a minute. So you've got to create your base. And so my base is going to be fairly neutral. I might add something afterwards um, just to add a bit of colour. But then we're going to decorate it. Hmm. Now I'm not going to use those. Put those over there. Oops, there's a bit of cheesecloth. You might need some cheesecloth. Okay. Page. Oh, where are the book pages? This will do. I think I left the... No, actually, I left those out to put in journals when we were moving. I'll grab one of these. This is lovely old. Oh, this is almost like the raggy paper, this one. It is. It's like a 1840s. It's still rag paper. It's not the same as the 1700s one, but it's um, pretty good. Okay, so I just need a piece to go there. Because I don't want to waste my bit, do I? Well, maybe it would be better if I trim them down. I'll get my act together in a minute. It is Monday morning, and it's first thing in the morning. Like, I've taken Lulu to school. Um, I've had a chat to my sister. <coughs> Excuse me. I've had a chat to my sister. Um, I've had breakfast. Uh, I've done some transport documents. And I am now ready to do my video. Okay, all right, so that's one. Actually, I'm going to trim that bit off down the bottom as well. And I am going to back them with a writing sort of space on the back. I trimmed off the, the edge, even though I liked it, it's because there's a bit of glue there from... So, you know, they put glue in to reinforce the book. Now here, I will then glue that to the nice rag paper. But I won't, I probably won't use that one for this project. Trim down these. Nice way to recycle your papers, your book pages that otherwise nobody would want. Now, I don't have all of the equipment that I would normally pull out when I'm doing this sort of thing because I don't think I brought my... I have a box of um, lumpy sort of uh, Christmas embellishments. You know, when I say lumpy, like pine cones and I've got tinsel in there, like little tinsel and stuff. I don't have any of that here with me at the moment. So, unfortunately, I won't be using any of that stuff. But when I went to the supermarket yesterday, because I had to go because we were running out of stuff. Now I can put glue on here and glue that better to there. Um, I did get, I'll show you what I got in a minute. And um, I did get some things that I can use. So I'm going to glue that there like that. That way I don't waste it too. Now I'll just get my scissors. And trim that one off. Okay, so there we go. That's crooked. I'll put that one aside. I don't think I'll use that one, but I will be using these now. We need to back them with something for writing. So let's see what I have here. I've got a couple here that I've already prepared. I'll show you those because I did have a go at doing one yesterday um, just to see, you know, that it was a functioning sort of idea. But what I need to find is some nice paper to put on the back of them. Yes, that will fit on one. That might fit on another. I'm just going to pull out my scraps. And even these can be good. Okay, so let me just glue this. So 
So of course, if you've got a direction on the other side, you want to make sure you um. Actually, I might I might actually fold that over the other way? Yes. If you have a direction here, like with the writing, you want, and this is directional as well. Like there's something that could be upside down, then you want to be mindful of that when you're gluing it, which is fairly obvious, but sometimes we forget to check. Trim that off. Should bring my garbage basket over a bit closer, I think. I've got my cheesecloth in there. <clears throat> Oh, that's pretty. We'll keep that. And then this bit here, I was just going to fold over. It's going to be a bit sticky, this book page. Let's just grab this one. Too. Okay, so we'll glue this one on. And actually... I'm going to tear that. I'll just use this ruler. It still gives you a nice edge. So I'll glue this one. Actually, I'll put my glue on here. So I get quite a lot of questions about my glue stick. I'm using Prip glue stick, um, which I find is quite good. I am very um, abundant with the amount that I put on. It's quite wet because you want to make sure being a glue stick that it stays put. Now that's not going to go fold over the edge, it's okay. So you want it to be abundant, the glue, so that way you're sure that it's gonna stick. Okay. It seems to take longer to do this part than anything else. Now you could um, then take, if you have, you might have something different, one of these and glue that there and have that little decoration on there. It's all very sticky. So in this case, I do have a direction, so I need to be careful that I, I keep my, you know, I don't screw it upside down because then that'll be silly, won't it? Can't believe there's only two left. I'm kind of relieved now because it's been a long challenge and um, just coming up with things. It's not, I'm not inventing anything, of course, each week, but just trying to do something that I don't normally do every, every other day. Okay. I won't bother folding that over. So that's the reverse side of that one. And then I'll keep those. And then we've got to do one more. I really have used a lot of stuff. I've got, do I have anything new? Embroidery bits. Not really, I think I've used them. I've used so much, so many of my things now. I've got the bell here, we'll use the bell. Okay, so, get rid of this. And I'll double check which way my writing is going. Of course, you can fast forward all these bits if you don't need to see all the gluing. Move that over there so I'm, as I'll go off screen.
Okay, so our bases are prepared. They have been prepared. And now we can just do a little bit of decorating here. That one's got the nice bit folded over. So if you can do that, if you've got a piece big enough and you can do that, then do go ahead and do it because it, it looks very nice. Okay, so we could have... I would like a little bit of script. Now, where did I put that? Over here. I was looking for my little... I don't know where my little ephemera pouch is. The one where I keep all my um, scanned pieces of ephemera. I don't know where I put it. It should be in this basket, but it's not revealing itself to me. I need to pull everything out, really. There, that's all. Put page. Maybe I put it in, I think I might have put it in another folder. Maybe I put it in here. I don't think so. No. I'm going to have to revisit all these folders. over there somewhere just a second just bear with me there's a vellum it's not over there it's Christmas I don't know where I've put it okay let me just grab behind here Here it is. No, that's letters. That's not it. These are old letters. Anyway, I might be able to find something in here. I'm not going to rip up the old letters. I had a pouch like this with my ephemera bits in. I'm going to have to go down and print them up again. But I wanted to use some old letter on them. But I don't know if I've got anything here that I can use. In the sense that I think I've used a lot of it. They're old books. Oh, here we go. I can use this. Although it's a shame. But I'll use that maybe. And I could use. Okay, I don't have much left. I need to go and print all my letters out again and my ephemera. I can't find it. It's not in there. Okay, I just want little bits and pieces of letters. Now this one is printed, you see, on cardstock. It's not quite as well defined as um, they do print out on the regular paper. So that's interesting to me that that happens. I'm just going to take the borders off. We're not going anywhere very fast, are we? I'm just going to tear it down a little bit so it's easier to manage. Okay, chuck that over there. I'm just going to tear a piece off and stick it on without even thinking about it. It's going to be a very simple little project, this one. I think. And I might put a piece. Maybe I'll put a little piece of this one. I can hear some howling dogs here as well. 
You won't be able to hear them. It's very faint. There we go. That there. And then I'm going to snip my corners. Little snip at the bottom for my shape. And then I'm going to cut the top into a tag shape. Just put that there like that. I better get a move on, hadn't I? I've been sort of flapping about a little bit. Put that there. Now you could make them narrower, you can make them smaller, whatever you like. I just made them the size of this old dictionary that I have. Because that's a nice size actually. Put that like that. Now I might grab. put a little piece of this on here so of course you can adapt this and make them not Christmas if you want to like any time of the year um, gift tags one and then this one maybe a piece of about some sort of more greeny sort of color Okay, so here we are. We're ready to go. I've got to think about it. So you can use what I thought I printed up. I'll show you what I printed up. What I thought I might use are these. So maybe we'll choose four. Or, and maybe, maybe that one as well. I printed them up here as well, just in case the other ones weren't the right size. And these are some others that I haven't published yet. Okay, we'll cut out a few. That one's going to be a little bit small, but there's a bigger version of it. It might be too big. That's going to be a bit small, that one. I printed some of them up twice. Okay, so I think this one's going to be too big. A little bit too big, that one. Although I'll just pull it out just in case. Now we could use Santa. We could go direct, totally off track. 
I mean Santa. So she might be too big. I'm just going to trim them out. So maybe this one. So these are communion um, cards, so you can use them at other times. You know, like you can make these, what I want to say is you can make these um, tags for other occasions. They don't have to be for Christmas. And I thought I might like that one. And I'm also going to keep the trim because I could add the trim. And of course, you can use any image that you like to do this project. get rid of my excess so I definitely think I'm going to use this one so let's where are my little scissors up there I put them away I don't worry too much about keeping that edge I just whiz around in a wiggly sort of way because you don't want to be here all day fussy cutting. You could use a tear ruler, I guess, but you wouldn't have a tear ruler that, that is that exact um, sort of edging. Now, which one would I like to put that on? I think I like it on, I think I like it on that one. Let's just have a look at this one. Yeah, this one. So that's going to go there. Oh, I didn't show you what else I got for this project. I'll show you in a second. So if you've got tinsel and, and sparkly things like that, you could use those as well. So maybe going to, Oh, no, I've got two extras that I prepared yesterday. And they're nice and stiff now. They've dried and they're not bending or anything like that. I might like no maybe oh I wanted to do this if it's the right size and then I wanted to do a different one so we'll I wanted to do one with a fabric embellishment on it so you really this is just to show you, you can really do whatever you like So you're going to need, um, what's it called, the sparkly stuff. What's it called? Not tinsel, the other sparkly stuff. I'm going to put that one there. Um, put those as, actually, I can do another one. Um, I love her, but I don't know if she's, I think she's not. Oh, what about Santa? Will we do Santa? I'll tear Santa. Oh, it doesn't matter because I'm going to cover the edges anyway. Um, what's it called? The sprinkly sparkly stuff. Um, I'm having a blank. Oh my goodness. Not sequins. Uh, what is it called? Glitter. That's it. Glitter. But I dislike glitter enormously. I really dislike it. So I bought at the supermarket, and I'm sure you can get it in every country. I have no doubt in my mind. Santa's going to go there. Um, I bought Elmer's. They had Elmer's glitter glue wonderful stuff and then I bought this Italian one deco colla glitter glitter glue in silver I'm now regretting I didn't buy red I should have bought red so what we're going to do is I'm going to glue this one on here I'm, I'm I've got my tool out because I might my tool out because I might not my tool my um what's it called cheesecloth just in case I wanted to add some texture behind something but with Santa I don't think I do um but what I might do with Santa is I'm going to do a silver edge around him. Let's see if this works. I haven't used this one. Does it have a little thing in there to block it? It does. 
I would have been sitting here squeezing, squeezing away. Obviously, it will take a while to dry. So you don't want to put them on, you know, you want to leave them to dry properly. Okay, so, I mean, very simple project. Let's see. I don't want to cover it, so I want you to be able to see. Oh, big blob of glue. I think the blobbier the better. So obviously if you're using glitter, you put your glue on and then you put your glitter on and you shake it off. And it would be oh, probably, you know, more intensified if you had glitter. You get more glittery things in there. Oh my goodness, I'm not doing a very good job here. Sorry guys, I'm going to have to put two hands over it to control it better. Turn out to be like a dog's breakfast. But the quantity of glue that's gone on there, um, it will take a while to dry. Now this one, the Elmer's glue is much more intense. Didn't dry in there, did it? Little sparkly centers in there. Got little, keep getting little tails. It's better. And I might colour in the star there. You can see I'm making it up as I go. And then I'm going to put an eyelet, but I won't be able to do that. I'll have to have that in the photographs at the end. Oh, and I wanted to see if I had a little word. Now, where are my words? Here they are. I need to go and print out some more words. I'm thinking I'm going to cut out the ho, ho, ho and glue them down. It's a pretty brodgy Christmas card. Well, we'll see how it dries. Up there, down there, down here, I think. Ho. I mean, there are some beautiful, like, you know, powdery glitters out there that are really, like, they're the glassy ones and they look really good. But I just didn't want to be messing with it. And if I had other things, um, my other box, I'd probably be finding a lot of fun things. I keep sticking my hand in the glitter. Just trying to keep myself organized. So I do want to punch a hole. Or maybe on this one. On the other ones, before I do any glittering, I might, um, if I want to do an eyelet, I'll do it first. So you can see. I'm going to put that one over there. Ho, ho, ho. Okay, what I might put on this one is some of this trim that I made last year. This colour would be nice, this part of it. I just stitched it onto a pe pieces of paper and I'm going to put that at the top. I'm going to glue that up, maybe that bit there. I'm going to glue that at the top. So I need my, I'll use this, what's it called? Um... Eileen's Tacky Glue. Aileen's, I think it is. And then I'll have to carefully put this one aside because that's going to take two days to dry, probably. So you don't want to make them the day before. There we go. And that's going to be tag number one. Just a bit of fun. I think this is something you can do with the, the little, little ones as well. You know, little, little tiddlywinks. Um, so here we're going to glue this down. It's a fun project for them to do. I, I'm now regretting, I am really regretting not having bought the red. I should have bought the gre red, the red, the red as well and the green, but I didn't. So note to self, I'll need to go and buy those. Okay, so here 
like I would do red on there. But what? This, let me grab my um, my box here, and let's see. Because you can cut things out, like I, you can cut gold star, like the stars out of those. Um, I have this. I thought it would be nice with that. Here's a piece of this. Oh, that's nice. I love that. Just trying to see what else there might be in here. The red stars. I've got these little wooden Christmas trees. I brought those. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. So here, first of all, I'm going to put an eyelet in, I think. Before I put any, you know, blobby stuff on there. punch my hole it's a bit wet so it doesn't appreciate it and I'm going to put in a gold one I think or no maybe I'll just put in a yellow one I've got lots of those okay so that way I can easily put whatever I want through there and now I can embellish. So I'm thinking I'm going to glue that there. But I'm just deciding. I think I'm going to go round. My whole thing was to put the sparkle on. And this Elmer's one is really good. It's got lots. The Italian one is not so good. It doesn't have as you know many glittery bits in the glue. Whereas this one's really good. And it comes out nicely as well, I think. Yeah, I like this. Now we'll, we'll ramp it up a little bit after this one. So these are simple ones. I'm going to glue that tree on. I'll use the PVA because that glues wood. enough I don't know I found these just in a decor sort of shop here many years ago I'm sure you can find these little wooden embellishment things so that's going to stick there I really like that one okay cute so then when this dries I'll slip um let's just have a look back in my treasure box here you could put some red baker's twine in there but I might put in something like this as my thing. I put that through there. Yes, that's going to go through there. But I'll wait for it to dry. I could even pull out a heat tool and dry it. Okay, so let's get to these. Now, these, I think one of them I'm going to put a piece of cheesecloth behind. I don't know if this will be big enough or stretch it out a little bit. Let's have a look. I need that thinner one that really, really frays. I've got that in it somewhere. Not so much on that one. Maybe on this one. Let's have a look. sticking to me yeah maybe on that one well I'm just going to glue that down and I'm going to grab where is it my this is Giotto glue now these are my mushy ones they're very mushy it's a it's a bodgy batch and I'm still going through them 
um, but it does, it glues, it's amazing. It really glues fabric. If you don't get the, see, look how much comes off. If you don't get the mushy ones, Giotto glue stick, they're Italian. The kids use them here at school and it's really great glue. So that's going to stick on there and it will not come off. I can tell you that. Should have my card. And then I'm going to glue this on top. Now, because I put so much on because it's mushy, this will attach to the, the glue underneath as well. And it's only just a hint of it peeking out from the back, from behind. Just a hint. Just a little hint. So that one's that. That one's done. Now, do I want... I think I might attach... You see, you could just staple something like this on or stitch it just like that. Oh, no, you know what? I'm going to do this punch. I'm going to do a big, big thing. This is the Euro. You, it's a Euro punch. And then that way that can loop through there. Okay, so that's that. And then I'll put some, I'll be putting some sparkle on there, but I wanted to work on this one. So this one, I think maybe we might have some sort of lace. Let me just have a look. I'm gonna have put some of this on. Use the other scissors. Of course, these can go into journal cards as well. I'll put that there and then we'll, which is the right way. I don't know, I think that's the right way. So let's glue this on. The, I mean, yes, they could go into journal cards as well. I just thought they'd be fun gift cards. I did some more elaborate ones last year. Um, We might do those again. I did do those last year. I think I'm pretty sure I did them on camera. I sent one to Pam. I know I sent one to my mum. I'm going to put that there. I'll use this glue. It does not come off with this glue. Just put it in a sort of bunchy sort of way like that. See, I'm just making it up as I go, honestly. Don't have a plan. I'm probably going to stick. See, that one would like that too. I think I'm going to put it on there as well. Might as well use it up. I was going to say, I might use some snippety sort of thing up there on that one. And we haven't got our sparkle on yet. So I'm just going to slide that in there, just slide it over sort of a little bit. Just going to get that into the glue and then hopefully it'll stick like that. Bodgiest batch of glue ever. And I'm still going through it because I use it now. I used to use it for everything, but now I have to use it sparingly because it's just so gross to use okay so that's that now I think I might do the, that punch through there it just looks so nice it really just does really look great I think must do it I'm doing it before I put my Elmer's thing I think I'm going to put I'm going to put the gold on both of these because I'm finding that the, that Italian brand is not as good as this um Elmer's stuff. And as I'm going around, I'm thinking, what's next? Does anybody else do that? I'm always moving on to the next thing in my mind. Just make sure you get enough on there. I'll be curious to see how it dries. Okay. Then we'll go around this one. It's a fairly simple thing to do. 
This is why too I wasn't too fussed about how I cut it because I knew I was going to go round it. Okay. And I'm wondering, what about if I cut out one of these? So you don't have to just use your ribbons for the ribbon bit. You can use the, if they've got pretty stars on like this one does, you might want to use those as well. This is probably the longest video ever. I'm sorry, guys. I just get carried away. I was just thinking these could look really nice with a little star stuck in there. Maybe not that one. That one? No, maybe not the star on these. There? No. Okay, we'll use the star for something else. So I'll put those aside. In my opinion, they're done. And then I'm going to do one more, and I've already got a base prepared here. And I wanted to do this one with fabric. So I'm going to choose a fabric. I'm just going to eyeball that bit there. And I think I'll do my eyelet punch just before we do anything else. So this one I've done the same process. It's got that paper on the back and I put some real old 1800s script here. One of the ones that was quite damaged so I salvaged the good bits. Um, did I just do the little hole? No, I think not. And then I put a little bit of the backing paper there. And I'm just gonna choose this time a gold one. My hand hurts from squeezing that glitter glue out. I do think if you're like me and you dislike glitter because it just you have glitter for, for months, years even in your house when you use it because it just gets everywhere. Um, it just drives me mad. So I think you know getting the glue, but a good one, this Elmer's one seems to be very intense and good. Just get one of those and use one of those. Okay. So let me see, where's my Christmas fabrics here? Right. I don't have very much left. But I just want something. Uh, I'll get something red, I think. Not too patterned. Maybe check. That's an old, very old. I don't know if any of you remember that. That's a really old ikea fabric that one and now i'm going to i'm just going to cut a rectangle and then what i'm going to do is fold it in half yep fold it in half like that and then i'm going to take my scissors and cut a tree shake like that. I'm going to just snip the top off because I don't like the pointy bit. And that is going to glue on there. And then I need some sort of trim. Which one will I use? Just like a this, oh no, maybe this one. I'm going to cut a little piece off here. And that's going to be the trunk of the tree. So I'll, I'm going to use my Giotto glue, my mush, the mush glue, and I'll glue my trunk first. I made so much glue on there. That's not going to go anywhere. Put that kind of center it. You could stitch these on, of course, if you want. But I felt like this, I was going to do that. And then I felt like the stitching would be kind of counteractive because I'm going to be glittering. Wanted to glitter. And if you had all different colour glitter glues, which I should have bought, shoulda, woulda, coulda, um, then you could have colourful glitter baubles on it. So that's going to go there. Oh, my eyelet's right where I wanted to put my star. I'm going to put the star on. I'll just have to put it down lower. I didn't think about that, did I? 
So do think about that. Okay. That can sit there. That's okay. We will survive. Oopsie. Now this is very simple. And then... Oh, I didn't put my mat down. I'm working on my piece of wood. That's not a good idea. And then I'm going to glitter. And I'm just going to do... Or you can glitter around the edge. I'm just going to do little glitter dots. Now that big blob will take forever to dry, so let's mush it out. Definitely a project for the kids. Got to think about the kids sometimes too. We do things for ourselves, but we don't, you know, more complex things. It's not easy getting it to blob like that. It's easy to pull it in a line. I do regret not having more colours. I just didn't know whether I, I didn't know what it was going to be like because I've never used it before. I, did, I just did, so I didn't want to exaggerate. I think it was cheap, but it's a huge bottle. As long as it doesn't dry out, it will last a long time. Now, I did need, I did need um, some sort of word, but I think I'm very low on words on those um, that will fit. I don't think I have any words. I mean, that would be wonderful, but that doesn't fit. Could stick it you could cut it out and stick it across the tree oh that could be cute if you cut it like this you could have O Christmas oh I like that there we go good one good one okay so I can use regular glue on that bit Put them on wonky. So just like that, five fun Christmas tags. And as I said, you can get the kids to make it, which I think is very would be really fun. I'm gonna stick that over there. Where's tree? Oh, Christmas. Where's my tree gone? Tree. Oh dear, I've lost my tree word. Did I put it back in the packet? I've lost it. Oh no, maybe I should, I should put it back in here. Did I? I did. <gasps> lucky, lucky. Wouldn't have been the end of the world. I could have just, oops. Printed it out again. There we go. Oh, Christmas tree. Right. Bit, bit weird. But I am very curious to see how that glitter stuff dries. I couldn't believe I couldn't remember that. And um, and now I just want to decide. I'm probably going to, when they dry, I need to put my topper on them. I'm thinking I might like this one on there as well. But to get it to stay, cut it at an angle. To get it to stay, I would need to put a little stitch in it, I think. Oopsie, I want to get it in there. I could just do a little tie. Let's see what a little tie likes looks like. Just tied, I think. Oh yeah, perfect. There we go. Cute. I like that. Okay, and then I'll do the other ones when it dries because I did blob into it. 
So that's one. I love these ones. These ones are quite simple, but I think they're very pretty. And then this one. I love the holly one. Oops, I'm glad I, I decided to, you know, my original plan was just the lovely communion cards. But then, I, and oh, and then a, a fabric one. I like the fabric one too, but I love the holly one as well. And I did stick my finger in the glue. And I can't reach Santa, just a sec. Santa is actually quite cute as well. I like Santa. So um, there they are, some different options. And just some fun Christmas tags that you can make. And you can make them with the kids as well. Because they are quite childish. <laughs> I must be in a childish mood. So there we go. So I hope you enjoyed that. That's Roxy's weekly challenge for week 50 Christmas gift tags. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you again soon. Bye.